Good morning, welcome back to the channel. So I'm currently sat at a petrol station. Got Maggie with me today, she's putting some diesel in the car. We're heading down to a local 10K today, the little Bromley 10K. It's one of the fastest 10K routes in Colchester. I think the winner last year did it in something ridiculous, about 30 minutes and, and one second, something like that. And second place was 30 minutes, 30 seconds. So yeah, very, very fast course. Those two guys that ran those times last year have entered today, so it should be a really fast race. I'm hoping I'm in PB shape. Um, my current PB is 32.01. Yeah, bit of a game plan today. I'm just gonna go out, stick with the main guys, and hang on for as, as long as I possibly can. If that's 3K, that's 3K. If that's 6K, it's 6K. Best case scenario, I can get to the end um, with the, the guys at the front. Um, worst case scenario, hopefully I can hang on for a PB. But yeah, today is also the day where I fly off to America. I'm going to the Boston Marathon with Puma. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd add to the stress of it all by doing a 10K race this morning. I've got to basically do this race at half nine, finish at about 10 o'clock, quarter past 10, and then I've got to drive back from the race um, back to where I live, grab my suitcase and get the train all in about 40 minutes. Um, so yeah, nice and um, busy morning. I'm really looking forward to the America trip. For the next few days um, in Boston, I'm planning on doing a bit more of a daily format. So um, that will just allow me to basically film my travel, everything that happens over the next few days. It's gonna be a bit of a whirlwind, I think. Um, so I'm not sure when this content's gonna come out. Probably not gonna have a lot of time to get editing when I'm over there. And then when I come back from Boston, I've got a week, I've got a week, not a week, a day in the UK before I fly off to Malaga with ASICs. Um, yeah, ASICs sent me an email saying that their new shoe, the a, a new carbon racing shoe is coming out um, and their meta tri time trials are gonna be taking place in Malaga with all their professional athletes. I think Mo Katir's doing it, Ailish McColgan, Scott, uh, Josh Griffin. So that's gonna be a really fun trip. Two days in Malaga. Um, so the next week, week and a half is gonna be an absolute whirlwind on the channel. So yeah, if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed and get ready for the fun. Here's Meg. Hello. All good? Yeah, good. All filled up with diesel and we're ready to go to the race. So I'm just out for my warm up, had a look at the start line, um, the finish is about a kilometre away from where it starts, um, me and Meg were just working out the logistics of getting back to the car, basically we need to get from the finish to the car in about 15-20 minutes um, to make sure that I don't miss my train to Heathrow, so it's all going to be a little bit... Um, a bit crazy, a bit tight for time, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, just going to do my warm up. Going to do three kilometers, nice and easy, and then I'm going to turn around and do my usual 10 minute tempo back. Um, got about 45 minutes till the race, and then I should be ready to go. Hopefully, have a good race today at perfect conditions. A little bit of wind, not too much, but yeah, temperature wise, it's looking lovely sun's out so yeah it should be a good one this morning so there we go i've done my final strides everyone's just around here i'll show you getting ready this is the start line it's going to go in the road oh cheers mate thank you here we go there's a the start line so yeah camera's going in the back pocket we're going to go fast today meg's on the camera she'll get a few shots but yeah I'll see you at the finish line
Yep. Well done, mate. Good job. Go on, Sam. Go on, Sam. Good job, bro. Hello, mate. Good job, bro. Sub 31. Lovely Just stuff. under. Nice. Great running, mate. Yeah, thank you, man. Right, Callum. Good job. Well done. Good job, mate. Well done. Come on, how'd you go? Just under 31. Oh, mate. Second place. Yeah. So there we go. Just finished the 10K. We've had to shoot off because I've got to get a train. Um, how was your filming, Meg? Not, not the best. <laughs> I uh, may have missed the start slightly because I just talked to people and I could just enjoy it and talk to everyone and then didn't yeah. realise they were all they lining up. They didn't do a three, two, one go of just like there's a man with a. They didn't a say on. like, oh, we're going in five or anything and I just did not even Obviously, realize. all the runners knew that we were going, but yeah. <laughs> may have missed the start, but. So I, I got you like literally two seconds after, it's a yeah. little bit shaky. Oh, so. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't film out on the course because I was just going for it. Um, yeah, I wanted to find out how where my fitness is at. I knew a guy was going to be running at about 30 minute pace for the 10k. I think the winner did it in 30 minutes and 10 seconds. Um, and I finished in 30.55. So yeah, really chuffed with that. New PB by about a minute and six seconds, something like that. We'll have to check the official results. Um, but yeah, off to the train station and then to the airport. There we go, quick turnaround. Suitcases in the car. Adult folder packed, ready to go. So a little bit of drama, um, I just ran to jump on my train. Um, at Paddington to go to Heathrow Airport and between the gate and the train I've somehow dropped my wallet um, so I've rang somebody at Paddington hopefully they're gonna find it for me I'm gonna head back and get it uh, not an ideal start to the trip hopefully I can just get the wallet stay positive and jump on on the train back to the airport but yeah Whew, that's got me going a bit but hopefully hopefully fingers crossed staying hopeful that I can get it back <laughs> drama over thankfully I found my wallet turns out I dropped it somewhere along the I mean, the gate over there and the train just here. Somebody had found it and handed it into luggage, um, baggage, collection, whatever it's called. So I had to fill in a few forms, but I've got it. Going to be jumping on the train. It's put me back about an hour now, but hopefully I'll make it in time. Should get to the airport about three o'clock instead of about two. Uh, but yeah, Whew. crisis averted. Here we go. Through the gates. On to America, baby! So we just arrived in Boston, Massachusetts. Um, it's about 7.30 in the evening here, but UK time, it's about um, half one at night. So I'm absolutely shattered now. Um, just gonna get, find the rest of the ProDirect team and head to our hotel. Here's my hotel room for the week. Well, not for the week, for the four days that I'm here. Oh, some Puma kit. Oh, cool, a little rucksack. What's this? Vest top by the look of things. Oh, nice. Some more kit. Wow, that looks really nice. And some, some shoes, what are these? They look fancy. Yeah, the DV8 Nitros, wow. Wicked, that's a nice little surprise. There we go, made it to Boston. What's the view like out the window? Mm. It's all right. Just in the city, but yeah, really nice flight. Um, there's hardly anyone on the, on the actual flight itself, so happy days. Had my own sort of aisle to myself, proper spread out, got some editing done. Um, yeah, it's now, Quarter to nine here in Boston, but in UK time it's about two, three a.m. in the morning, so I'm pretty shattered now. Um, here's my bathroom. Where's the light for that one? Something here. Oh, a bit too bright. Yeah, really nice little bathroom. Cool. In here we've got, I presume, oh, a toilet with a door. 
How convenient. And the shower room. Yeah, very nice. There we go. So yeah, this is day one of Boston Marathon Fun with Prodomite Running and Puma. I'm gonna give these a little test out tomorrow, I think. Um, and yeah, I'll let you know how I get on. But until next time, inspire to run, run to inspire, and we'll see you tomorrow um, with the Boston Marathon. Really, really excited to, to film it. So yeah, it should be good. Cheers. Thank you.